So I'm going right here into Canva AI and I'm going to create a background that I'm going to use for a candle. Now I'm using this background just to do a mock-up size that I'm going to do for three because I want it to be a rectangle and I'm just going to go on ahead and create this image. All right, this is cool. I like this, but I want it to be, look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. Matter of fact, I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay, let's just, let's go for it. But let me see if this works. If it works, then we are in business. So let's see if we could magic grab the text. All right, so I'm going to move all of it out of here. And I'm going to put, let's throw that away. I'm going to put my logo. And I'm going to move this over here. We're going to go back here, grab text. We're going to take the bergamot and rose. Grab that. Oh, you know what? It only grabbed what I highlighted. So it did, even though this was boxed, it didn't grab it. It just grabbed that part. Let me see if I could change the font on here and I like, let's see if <laughs> we could, there we go. All right. So we could change the font. So I don't even have to do much. All right. Let's do this. We're going to just grab the end rows. We're going to do this whole part. Let me see if I can um, edit separately the way it is. I think we can. That's gonna be a grand, dear grand. Okay. All right, so we have that. This is going to say luxury soy candle. And I am going to highlight this because I'm changing the font. Changing the font to copper plate Gothic. All right, and then I want it to be smaller than that. A little bigger. Okay. And maybe a little, no, yeah, we like it there. Let's see. Mm. That's fine. And then we're going to change this. We're going to go to Georgia Pro. And then we're going to say eight ounce. Oh. because I grabbed it is giving me I mean, it might be texture oh no it's because I grabbed it let's erase it oh, I wonder if I could click it let's see now it's going to take all of this out I don't want all of that gone all right let's just use the brush now it's clean all right put that back now let's look and see what it looks like Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that label. We use this right here. We use Canva AI. We created a candle label. The font, the, the prompt that I used was bergamot, and I spelled it wrong. Bergamot and rose background border for a luxe candle label. It gave me this. It well, it gave me a few of these, and all of these were cute. Um, except for that, that was the candle itself. But all of these were cute. We decided to take this one, and what we did was we went in, and we went in, we magic grabbed all of these. But moving forward, I would magic erase it so that it doesn't leave anything behind, any of the residue behind from the magic grab. And then we, um, no, actually, we're gonna magic grab it because we were able to use this this format, and we were able to change the font and everything. So. We took this label and we changed it into this label. So now this is my brand label. I could have put the website somewhere, but this is just, just to show you that it could be done. How cute is this? And then I wanted to see, could I do something that would be similar to this if I had a different um, scented candle? And you sure can, because here we go right here. This one, I want it, it says lemon and lavender. And all you have to do is go in and you can change all of this. You can take this off and you can put your logo, actually do whatever you want. I didn't know that you can do this much. I was just trying to get a border so I could create my own. And I was just going to use something like this. And it came out so much better. This is what I was going to use because I was looking for something so I could just create a quick candle, um, candle label mock-up. And this came out so much better. 
So um, if you like videos like this, make sure you stay tuned and you follow. Talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.